the equivalent of a man walking up and approaching a girl, for a woman, the woman's approach is an approach invitation. Hey guys, Hector Castillo Poppy from girlschase.com. Today I wanna to talk about the difference between chasing girls and having girls chase you. Now, this channel is called Girls Chase. Sometimes people will be like, oh, you're chasing girls. I'm like, no, it's not how English works, man. So, girls chase, girls chase us. That's the name of the website, the name of the channel, and it's purposeful because we want girls to chase us. However, this doesn't necessarily look always like you would think, right? Because in your mind, you have this ideal, this fucking fantasy where girls are, you know, you spray fucking a body spray and girls are running across the beach because they want to fuck you, right? This is our fantasy that somehow we're going to be some guy because of our status or our money or our good looks or because we think we're smart or we think we're funny or you know because we've gotten laid a few times or even a lot of times okay all of a sudden women just want to suck my dick on command right this is not going to happen the only time that will happen in like large quantities is if you're famous or in a social circle where like you're a really well-known guy and there's hordes of beautiful women in those social circles right uh, nightlife industry, you know, where you're just always at the coolest parties with the coolest people and girls are just like throwing themselves at you. But even then you're going to have to do some work, right? So I want you to uh, kind of get rid of this illusion of, of what it means for girls to chase after you, right? Because most of the time outside of those extreme circumstances, even if you're a cool guy or attractive guy, you dress well, maybe you're not actually good looking, you're not tall, you can get in shape though. It's something you can change, right? Even if you're doing all these things to make yourself sexy and cool and high value, you're still gonna have to do work okay? because you're the man, right? And that's a very important thing to remember. And I know that a lot of you, because of pain or rejection, you wanna turn it around and be like, okay, well, girls have to chase me. I see tons of comments like this on, on the internet and, and especially well, when talking about uh, seduction where it's a big comment, don't chase girls, make girls chase you. And it has like 5,000 likes and what I, what I don't understand with some of these guys is I don't think they, they understand what that actually means, right? It's, it's, a, it's a nice catchphrase, right? And, and there's a lot of, you know, there's a Morgan Freeman interview where he talks about having girls chase you. Well, there's, he's definitely in a certain situation where that works, right? Uh, and in social circle, you could be like the cool guy, and, you know, you're not gonna be like going up to her and be like, hey baby, you can just wait for her to kind of come towards you. But even in that situation, even in those situations where girls are maybe making the first move, you know, maybe coming and approaching you or giving you interest and, and, and or even asking you out, at some point, you're probably gonna have to take charge because you're the man and women aren't, uh, they're not socialized to be the aggressors. And even in the cases where they want it so bad that they are the aggressors, at some point you are gonna have to make it work. There's been a few instances where girls did completely all the work for me, right? And they just threw themselves at me. Uh, but there was a context for it, right? It, very few times was it a cold approach, right? Where they came up to me and made it all work. Like it was social circle and they put themselves around me or maybe approached me. But I had to take charge because I'm the man. Because women are not socialized to be aggressors because they don't practice it a lot they're not good at it they don't know how to escalate properly okay and and that fear and lack of knowledge is going to keep them from doing it right so you as the man you're going to have to take charge you and it could the entire i want you to, the entire process can be you taking action and she can still be chasing after you right when a man is being assertive and approaching her asking her out da, 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 he's only chasing once he has gone beyond what the girl is ready for or has subtly or overtly invited him to do, right? Let me say that again. A man can make all the moves and not chase. The moment he is chasing is when he is going beyond the point that the girl wants him to go and she's no longer interested. And then it becomes a very steep fall where she loses interest, okay? You're talking to a girl and she kind of starts to get, you know, distracted or whatever, and you start talking faster and you start trying to get her attention. And then that pushes her away even more and she's like, hey, I gotta go find my friends. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, whatever, right? Or you're on a date and you can kind of tell she's not that interested and you try to talk more, you try to tell stories, you try to be funny and she just gets more disinterested, right? Or you ask her out once and she's like, no, thank you. And then you text her five days later and you text her again. 
but there's times where you can be persistent even, right? Not just taking action, but you can be persistent and not be chasing because she's still giving something, right? If she's still, now the degree to which, you know, she's giving you something or not, or she's just leading you on, you need experience and you have to have the proper context, right? And some guys who are still really good with girls, there's gonna be times when you chase. That's the risk you're gonna take as the man. Tough fucking luck, okay? You're the man, you're the approacher, you're the conqueror, you're the adventurer. You're gonna approach girls, ask them out, right? You're gonna have to text them, maybe send the first text. Even after you sleep with a girl, you're probably gonna still be having to take action, okay? You, you, you're really not gonna get a girl totally crazy about you and doing everything for you, usually until you slept with her a few times, okay? And it can happen before, right? It can happen way down the line where you're still always just taking the helm. And it's not necessarily a bad thing for you to be the man, but I just think that a lot of guys, because they, like I said, they've been rejected, they have this fantasy that they want girls to come after them. But when I think about that idea, the, the exaggerated, I'm gonna make girls chase me, I always think about like when girls go through a breakup or something and they're like, I'm gonna be the baddest bitch. And they just post like inspirational quotes on fucking Instagram. And they're just like, I'm so independent and I don't give a fuck. And they start posting pictures where they're all sexy and da 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 da. And I was just like, it's so fucking dramatic. Okay, now I've done it too. You know, I've, I'm, I'm a dramatic motherfucker. So I, I, I can be aware of what they're doing without judging, right? Or judging it, but just know that I'm guilty of it as well. But it reminds me of that. And I can just imagine these guys who write this, I'm gonna make girls chase me. They kind of just like crossing their hand like, oh. But the question I have to ask them and here it is, okay, does that mean you're never gonna approach a girl? Bro, you're, unless you are fucking good looking or sexy as shit or in a really cool social circle, have fun. You're never gonna approach a girl because you're chasing a girl. Your ego is getting in the way of success, okay? Okay, you'll approach a girl, but you're not gonna ask her out. Okay, what? You know, you're gonna wait for her to ask you out? Okay, that might happen a few times, like maybe five times out of like 50, probably even less, right? Um, yeah, no, probably out of like 500, right? So, okay, well, you'll ask her out, but you know, if you ask her out once and she doesn't say yes, then you're done with her. Okay, that's a fair principle, right? Most of the time, once a girl isn't interested the first time, very rarely is she going to wanna see you again, but who knows, maybe two weeks later, maybe a couple months later, she might hit you up, right? There is a way to be persistent without chasing, but then you're getting into territory where, you know, you are, you know, probably chasing, okay. Fine, you're going out with girls and you're having fun. Okay, well, are you gonna wait for her to ask you out or ask you home, right? Get you home to fuck? You're gonna wait for her to say, hey, you wanna fuck or hey, you wanna go watch a movie? Again, it can happen and it has happened. It's much more rare because you're the man. You're gonna have to take action because she doesn't wanna look like a slut too. She doesn't wanna look like she's easy. So girls are gonna kind of play aloof. That's their game. It's very receptive and we'll get that to that in a second. But you're gonna be making the move even when she wants it to happen. And the, the time when you're chasing is when you do it at the wrong time or too much or too little, right? So, okay, you're asking girls home and you're hanging out with them and then you wanna fuck them and you kiss them and they're like, oh, I don't know, I don't wanna kiss. And you go, okay, well, I don't wanna chase. Well, okay, that's fair. You should relax and you should chill. But you know, maybe 10 minutes later, she starts snuggling up to you. Are you gonna try and kiss her again, right? Well, no, I don't wanna get rejected. Well, the context has kind of changed. So maybe she's down for you to kiss her. Okay, you kiss her and it works, right? So there is room for persistence and there's definitely room for assertive behavior and you going for it because you're the man. And the reason why that dichotomy exists and that energy exists is because women are gonna be chasing in a passive way, in a receptive way, right? Men usually chase in aggressive ways. Women chase in passive ways. A woman's, the equivalent of a man walking up and approaching a girl, for a woman, the woman's approach is an approach invitation. Her looking at you for a second and a half or looking at you with very sexy eyes or checking you out or looking at you and smiling or putting herself around you, right? Some of us might get frustrated and feel like, well, why don't they just come up to us? Why don't they say hi? That's just not how women work. And you, you, can, you can make a fucking protest and write on a sign and, march down you know every fucking street in the united states or the world and demand that women start being more aggressive it's not going to happen you know we've had decades of socialization and political forces trying to tell women to be this way and some women do some women are aggressive i will give them that but for the most part no even those women who say they are that way right so 
women are going to be chasing by giving you signs. That's their way of hinting that they, they want you to go further. So that's their equivalent of making things go further, but they're not actually, or rarely, gonna take the actual effort and the action to make it happen, right? They might, but very rarely. So let's go through those levels. Approaching, they're gonna give you a sign to approach them. They wanna ask you out. They're going to maybe offer their number or they're going to, it's a little bit more aggressive, um, but they're going to uh, hint that they're not doing that much. You know, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just walking around, not doing much, you know? Okay. Would you wanna go get some coffee or maybe we can hang out sometime? Yeah, that'd be cool, right? Or she's just looking at you and smiling as you're talking to her and she's playing with her hair, right? She's giving you signs of interest as you guys are hanging out. You're on the date, same thing. She's giving me tons of signs of interest. Now she's asking questions. You know, she's in, being receptive and passive doesn't mean she's just sitting there like a doll, right? She's gonna be asking questions. She's gonna be uh, showing more interest now that you're actually on the date, right? That's gonna be a sign that she's chasing. She's kind of leaning towards you. She starts touching you. That's a huge sign of interest, right? She's not like, come fuck my pussy, right? Sometimes, but not usually, but she'll, she'll touch. When a girl touches me, I'm like, all right, we're on another level. We're, there's some definite interest here. So touching you, playing with your hair, uh, looking at you a lot, getting close to you. Uh, they can give verbal signs. They can you know, ask how many roommates you have or if you live alone. Um, they can ask if you have a girlfriend. They can, uh, they can mention that they live alone or that they're not doing much tonight or you know, that uh, they've been kind of bored lately. They're going to be implying things and subcommunicating and indirectly communicating things as hints and as spaces for you to work with. So it's a dance. They're inviting you and you're coming in, right? And then sometimes they're gonna stop and you have to know to stop, right? And you just shimmy in front of them and wait for them to make the next move. And then you move further and move further. You look at the way that, you know, dances like tango and all those, they work. The man leads, right? But the woman steps back to let him come in. But sometimes she comes forward, right? She has to play her part as well. But the man is the one leading, but you can't lead without a follower. And the follower, in this case, in the seduction, she's actively playing and inviting you to move forward, okay? So I want you to, on all levels of seduction, approaching, asking to fuck, um, uh, asking for a relationship, that's one part where I would say the woman takes over and she chases after the relationship and asks you like, you know, what, what are we, right? What are your intentions, right? So that's her chasing. You know, what are you looking for? That's her chasing without specifically saying, look, I want you to be this, right? And then you take that as a hit and say, okay, are you asking me that you want me to be your boyfriend? Da, 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 da. So on all levels from the first meeting or before meeting to you guys are already fucking and you're going to be in a relationship or even after a relationship and, and things moving forward to living together, having kids, getting married, all that. Women are gonna be playing the invitational seductress, uh, passive and receptive role in the dance and in the relationship. And the man is gonna be playing the aggressive and assertive and forward moving role in that energy. But you're not chasing as long as you're going in accordance with how much she's comfortable with. And a lot of times though, you're gonna have to just make a move because maybe you have mixed signals uh, or you don't have signals, but I don't know, she's still around me and she's still enjoying my company. So maybe she still likes me or maybe she wants to go out with me or maybe because we're on a date. Well, we're on a date. So she likes me to some extent, you know, I'll invite her home or I'll invite her for a second date or, you know, I'll try and kiss her. There's going to be times and you have to take a leap of faith and there is a chance for rejection. And that's just something that you have to accept as a man. Everyone has rejection and they go for things in life. But with sexuality and romance, for the most part, the woman is gonna be the one who's getting approached and the man is doing the approaching and all of the permutations of that throughout the seduction and the relationship. So you're only chasing if you're going so far where she's no longer interested and then you go even further. As long as you're keeping in line with just about how comfortable she is and how much she, she, she is explicitly saying she wants or giving signs that she wants, you're not chasing. The moment you're chasing is when you go beyond that and you're not aware that you're going beyond it, okay? So, have girls chase you. 
by becoming an attractive man who has stimulating conversation, who is sexy, who, who, who knows what women want. And you become that man by liking this video and subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell and checking out our courses in the description below. It's gonna take time, it's a process, it's a skill, it's an art, it's a science. Uh, but you can become that man and women are gonna be giving you more signs of interest. They're gonna give you more approach invitations. You're gonna go on dates and get much more interest and more girls are gonna wanna fuck you. Uh, and in some cases, in some settings and contexts, girls will make the moves and, and sometimes a lot of moves, right? And sometimes all the moves, but it's not very often gonna look like that. And you could, even then you could say, well, I'm not going to hook up with a girl or be with a girl unless she does all the work and is okay. That's fine. You're probably going to be waiting around a long time. But if you want to take, as men, a proactive approach to your dating life, and if you want a date, you go out and meet a girl, and you're willing to face that rejection because it's really not that big of a deal, right? So the fear of not chasing, not wanting to chase girls is a good one. You should be aware of it, but you shouldn't let that fear goad you into not doing anything. You're so afraid of chasing that now you just don't do anything and you're not getting anything. Whereas the guy who's willing to have some failure and sometimes chase and sometimes misread things. Okay, he took those risks and he fell on his face first in the dirt, but the next day he found himself face first in some pussy. So there's some risk and there's some reward. And as men, we are the adventurers and, and we're the pirates and we are the conquerors and we're the builders and the achievers. So embrace that masculine nature and go out and be willing to face failure. Uh, but of course, be aware uh, that you need to pay attention to how much the woman is, is into and how much she's not into and learning that through experience. And eventually, once you do become a high value man by learning and by following our philosophies, you are going to eventually find girls who are really just going to chase after you and are all but inviting you to fuck them. Okay, cool. Hector Castillo Poppy from girlschase.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on Instagram, and chase me on Instagram if you're a girl. And I will see you very soon. Bye.